Well, hello, my friends, and welcome back to the bench. Today, we're going old school. We're going to do an old school Barbatos Rex test video. That is a test video where we test every color in a particular line, and that is what we're going to do today. Um, this is the new A stand lacquer line from Ammo. A stand. Um, we're going to test their metallics. Now, there's other stuff in the A stand line. Um, there's chrome, which I already tested. That won't be here. Um, let me see if I got the chrome sitting back here. Yeah, here's the black chrome. Here's the regular chrome. So uh, there's a holographic chrome. We'll be testing that soon. Holo here, here it is. Holomatic chrome. We'll test that soon. That's separate from these. There's also a weathering colors here. Now these have a different colored label. You can tell these have a chrome label. This is a blue label. Uh, hot metal burnt carbon, uh, hot metal carbon. So these are, uh, you can tell, you can't even see the color there. These are more like a weathering effect uh, type of color, so that doesn't really go part of this lineup. And then there's also, uh, I have these clairs, satins, and glosses. We will be testing those too. Oh, and they also have uh, a full line of primers in this line. And um, these are associated with a uh, with uh, all clad. And I do like their primers, so uh, I expect those to be good too. That'll be a separate video. But for this video, we're going to test the colors in the lineup, the golds, the aluminums. That's what we're going to test here. And uh, I'm going to shoot four on camera, and I'm going to paint the rest off camera. So, but I am going to show you every single color in this lineup. I already have tags printed out that we're going to put for each one. And uh, I'll probably do a still shot at the end of the, the video. So you guys can uh, actually see. Uh, and maybe you can pause the camera, uh, pause the video, and you can see the colors. I'll have them listed here. And uh, we're going to go over these now. Uh, on a side note, before we get going, my polished aluminum from uh, Mecha Empire is back in stock. It was out of stock for a little while. Uh, here is that. Kind of matches this video in that it's a, a metal color. It's not quite chrome as the name polished alloy but uh, what it is is it just goes on really easily it's real mega durable um, and for that's its biggest feature the durability and the ease that it goes on instead of being a true high-end chrome where it's so sensitive and you got to put a coating on it no longer looks like chrome you spray this this is the look you're going to get and it's still going to be durable anyway this is just back in at Gundam Pros I have a link below they're out of stock for a while they only got like uh, two dozen bottles in so, if you guys want any, grab it. It's kind of hard for my manufacturer to get that stuff made. So, uh, there's kind of a big gap in between when we can get them. Uh, anyway, on to this test, which we will go through the colors now. Here we go. High speed silver. There we go. I'm trying to get it so you guys can see it in the light here. Let's see. Gold titanium. Oh, can't see the gold there until you shake it up. We will shake them up too. And I ended up putting... You can hear the uh, bearing in there. I got a bunch of these uh, hematite beads and I put them in here and they shook up really nice. Now uh, this is copper. Oh, that one you can see. We have magnesium. Now these in the front are the four we're going to spray on camera. So we'll pull these out. I figured I got some that are quite different looking and whatnot so I just randomly pulled ones that are uh, a bit different and these are the four we will be testing uh, I mean showing on camera them being sprayed I'm gonna show you how we're gonna spray them in one second alright stainless steel oh, trying to get it for you guys here polished aluminum man I can't get that lighting it's right there polished aluminum there's a lot of that here steel burnt iron Uh, what we have here polished brass highly requested color all right where are we here this is white aluminum all right this is dark aluminum a lot of aluminum aluminums here guys here is regular aluminum <laughs> oh, how the Brits say it aluminum is that how they say it uh, Dura aluminum, Dura. See it? There we go. 
I get the angle just right, you guys can see the label. Tough to read. Semi-matte aluminum. Uh, oh, this is different. Jet exhaust. There we go. Gunmetal. Oh, can't see that at all. Oh, it's a little blue there. There it is. Here. It's a bluing color, which is the color of gun barrels. Uh, pale gold. What we have here? High shine plus aluminum. Oop, you can see that one. That's already shaken up. Look at that. That's uh, kind of like my uh, ally. It's almost a chrome, I believe, if I recall. Uh, dull aluminum. Where are we here? Airframe. Oh, let me show you. Airframe aluminum. All right, what we got here? Pale burnt metal. It's tough to get the label for you guys. Oh, there you go. Pale burnt metal. And last but not least, what do we have here? Engine manifold. There you go. All right, these are all pre thinned. Beautiful bottles. I, I like the bottle. I do like it quite a bit. They fill them sometimes all the way up to the neck here. Um, I do like the bottle. And um, a early test, I wasn't coming out right. I was misting it on, and it wasn't working. And then um, I read the label, and they all say the same thing. I followed their direction. One layer of medium thickness uh, through 15 PSI dries in an hour. And that's it. I'm going over there layering it, doing it light like I would chrome. Because that's what you do for the chrome. You put on very misting. Not this stuff. It wasn't looking proper. You could see the flakes. Then I realized it's one layer of medium thickness. That's pretty heavy. And uh, after I figured that out, solved the problem. Uh, we're going to spray it on top of a gloss black and a dull black. Straight on this black plastic. So these are the two surfaces we're going to compare the colors with. Uh, they recommend black across the board. I'm not going to go nuts with grays and whites. Uh, we just want to see what the color is, how it is meant to look like. So we'll do it on gloss. We'll do it on uh, dull black, both black. This black happens to be my Mecha Empire 2K gloss black. Came out beautiful. I had a bunch of these pre-sprayed for other projects, so I just grabbed them. And I figured I'd use these. And, um, yeah, really, really good shine. Nice and even. Good performing uh, 2K black right there. So that is uh, the base for that. And that's it. And um, the brush we're going to use, my GSI Creos PS289. I'm going to go with the 003 millimeter needle. Um, uh, love this brush. It's a jack of all trades. It really sprays this stuff nice. You'll see in a second at the booth. So anyway, that's what we're going to do. Uh, maybe I'll show you how it cleans out. It cleans out of the airbrush really easy. You can see how thin they are anyway. They're practically colored thinner. So they, they, you can bang out multiple colors right away without doing a deep clean on the airbrush, which is awesome. Um, particularly for me, when I had to test all these, this took a while. Uh, these tests take a long time, so I hope you guys appreciate the work that goes in it. But I do know you guys do um, for the good reactions that we get. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to get a couple of clips here. We're going to put a clip at the bottom of these, like such. So we'll paint some in here and one color on and, um, both of them. And, uh, oh, you can hear the compressor going off. I got that warming up now. That's the uh, Tootie from uh, Spray Gunner. That's the air compressor we are using for this test. Anyway, guys, um, that's the intro. Let's head over to the booth, which is this way. And uh, let's get started on one of these four. And at the end, we'll go over the rest. And, uh, yeah, uh, early tip off here. Um, very impressive. Very impressive. You're going to see in just a second. We'll see you at the booth. All right, my friends, here we are at the booth. 75 degrees, 60% humidity. Actually, it changes with my breath. The sensors are right here, and it's really sensitive. But it was 59 as I approached the booth, and uh, which is perfect for spraying. Um, I shook it up. I used my uh, Typhoon paint shaker, and now you can see it's all well shooken up. So, straight from the bottle, I'll show this once. All right, we're going to go in, make sure we get all the flake, metal flake that we want in there. That should be enough for all we need. Put my, there we go, my uh, 
I drop her in a little bucket I keep that I clean them up later on. There we go. This is gold titanium. Here we go. Beautiful color. You can see it's got that absorbing that the chrome actually has. One of the better colors in the line. That's why I want to do this one on camera. It's almost a gold chrome. Not quite the super high shine of chrome, but um, you can see as, as you keep applying it, you're going to get a nice even layer. It's a beautiful color. Absolutely beautiful color. One of my favorites in the line. Not my favorite. I do have a favorite. I will show you that in a second. Now, not all of them shine like this. This is, this is meant to look like this. Now, let's go ahead and put some on some, I'll call it flat black. Try to get from different angles here. You see it dries almost instantly as it hits. We'll go over the colors a little better at the bench. But there you go. Now I will show you over white. Certain colors will go over white. I mean, I could do that in a separate test. It ends up looking kind of like uh, tinted, almost dirty-like. Um, it just doesn't have a proper look. Uh, it's just not meant to go over a light color. But uh, you can't get a tinting effect, I guess. But um, I'm going to show you once. Let me get these out of the way. We're going to put these out to dry over here. They dry really quick. Let me grab some thinner. I'll show you how quickly these can be cleaned out of your airbrush. All right, this is my lacquer thinner. I have everything labeled. All right, I'm gonna blast some in here. I mean, you could get some out right away if you want, but what I like to do is, I like to, let me switch hands here so I can get a better angle for you guys. There we go. I like to uh, push in and out like a pumping fashion. See it? And I'm pushing it into the open hole down there where the needle goes in. And then what I do is I like to take all of this and dump this because I don't want to flush all the metallic back through it again. So what we're going to do is do it one more time. And I do like to uh, hit the edges of the cup. Blow a little through. On this particular airbrush, all you do is loosen the nozzle. You don't have to cover it. And it automatically does the, the flush. And um, this is recommended in the manual, how you clean it quarter turn on the nozzle, your own little bubbles, it's a perfect uh, amount, it doesn't splash up or anything. Now with this, I don't like to, of course I'm getting out a lot of the metallic, you can see it floating in there, I like to just dump that out, I don't like to, like I said, flush it through, and uh, you are good. Now you could probably, if you want, do one little tiny drop of uh, lacquer. Sometimes I like to finish off with an acetone, acetone dries really quick, but we are ready to go with the next color. That was about 35, 40 seconds even quicker if I'm not showing you guys. So uh, that's cleaning between colors. Really, really efficient. Um, Alright, let me pause the camera, get another color, and we'll move on with the test. Alright guys, I was, I, like I said, I wasn't going to show you the whole process again. We're just going to go right into spraying, but I did want to show you how, how full these things are. Some of them anyway. Look at this. I mean, I could do my test and then get it back to like where it should normally be. You know, that is a lot of paint they give you. So, anyway, I was, uh, like I said, what is this? High-speed silver. I, was, uh, I wasn't going to uh, show you that, but I did want to show you how full some of these actually end up being. All right, here we go. Still got this towel in my hand. High-speed silver is uh, is a different kind of uh, 
silver. It, it's almost like a dull, flattened out aluminum, but not quite that color. Can you see it? It's, uh, I think it's used on aircraft. That's where the high speed comes from. It's a combination, I believe, of lacquer thinners. A thinned out silver is what I've read. Beautiful color. Look at this. Wow, that is smooth. Very nice. All right, let me grab a piece of the black plastic. Still behind me here, guys. I can reach the bench. And here we go. Let's clip that on. And we'll put it over something. I think. Yep, I ran out. I tried to go with just a little bit, and it didn't work. Let me fill it up again, and uh, I'm going to pause the camera for one second. All right, topped off with a few more drops so we can finish off this. I can't stand this. There it is. This flexing on the plastic drives me nuts. Sorry about that, guys. There we go. I just want to layer this on, as they say, medium coat. And uh, we'll let that dry. We'll compare it to the gloss black. Some of it doesn't matter. It's going to dry dull no matter what. But, uh, yeah, let me go ahead and clean this out and get on to the other color. All right, next up is copper. Yes. Nice. I do like a nice copper. Let's see what we get here. This is the one I, I was t one of the type of colors I was spraying and it was wasn't looking right and then I realized it said to apply one single medium layer and that's what we just did. Look at that. Then you got that beautiful copper color. This is as easy as a paint can be sprayed. Absolutely love it. Right there, man. Look at that. Let's try it over some flat black here. Probably going to look the same. Oh, I can see the spoon is drying a little bit shiny, so that tells me it will match the base. Yep, it uh, still looks great. Now, think about it. You're getting two paints here. Just by changing the base without having to uh, put a, a coating on top to change it, you're going to get it just by uh, changing the base all together because you can see it's a little shiny here and a little dull there. Look at that. Beautiful copper color, though. Absolutely beautiful. Um, let's go ahead and experiment. I'm not going to do this on all of them. Let's try it over some white. I'm doing this on the white because this is the kind of color that goes on in the heavy medium coating. So yeah, that absolutely does change it. All right, let me clean this up. We'll get the last color, then we're going to go over every single color. All right, last one we're going to spray on camera, magnesium. I uh, love these type of colors, these off colors, titanium, magnesium. Um, I do have a favorite in the lineup. I'll show you that at the end in just a little bit when we go over them. Magnesium. Go. Beautiful, beautiful. Just a gold tint color, beautiful color. Let me make sure there's no dust on this flat black plastic. Here we go. I think that's it. All right, we will let these dry. Oh, what a beautiful color. I do like these off steel color, metal colors. Oh, no, that's a, that's a great color. Um, all right, guys, let me uh, clean out the brush. Meet you back at the bench. We'll go over every single color. All right, my friends, here we are at the bench. Let's go over the results. Uh, as I said, I sprayed all of them. They are all sitting right here. Uh, well, we're going to do them in groups here because I can't fit them all on the table, but we will go over all of them for you. Um, 
Here is burnt iron. Now at the end of the video, I will put these tags down and I'll put the spoon, which is uh, the gloss black base, like this. And you can pause the camera if you want at the end so you guys can see. But anyway, look at that. Burnt iron. And uh, it's just exactly what it should look like. Beautiful color. And this is it on a flat black, a totally different texture, but the same tone. All right. Burnt iron, polished aluminum. Look at this, polished aluminum. Uh, yeah, this is almost chrome. This is kind of like my polished alloy. Look at that. Beautiful, almost chrome, not quite. This is it over non-gloss black base. Of course, you're gonna get this. However, if you think about it, by buying this, you're getting two colors here. This this is a completely different color over a uh, flat black versus a gloss black. flip it so you can see it better there you go as I said at the end you'll see I'll put them all nice uh, still shots of everything this is white aluminum oh hold on there we go took me a while to print those little tags out too all right here it is over gloss black obviously the spoon is gloss black it's got a little bit of a shine to it no shine to it at all on the flat black Next up is steel. Oh, steel. All right. There we go. Very nice. I mean, these are about as close as you're going to get to the actual color, the actual metal. This is it over flat black. And actually, I think this looks good, too. This actually does look like steel. Really, really nice. They did a great job here. But these are uh, all clads in the end and um, um, and all clad was always great this is polished brass this is the ever elusive polished brass that was discontinued there was a formula problem with all clad upon doing some research uh, I showed it a bunch of ways because it's, it's just generates such interest this color and it never quite comes out the same this is over grays and different layers of it but the true way is a heavy lever, well, a medium layer, like they said, over gloss black, and there is your polished brass. And that is exactly what it should look like. Now this is it over flat black. Completely different. This is, I guess, this is the polished brass, because it's uh, not quite a chrome. And I did try to go lightly, and this is the best I can get to maybe close to a chrome, and it's almost the same. This is a lighter coat, really slow, and I, I didn't I didn't try buffing them. I'm rubbing them now on my shirt. I guess you can buff them out a little bit more, but great color, absolutely great color, polished brass. All right, I said I had a favorite. And believe it or not, it's stainless steel. This is my favorite color in the line um, because this looks exactly like my appliances. You know, my appliances are all stainless steel as most houses are today. Um, this, if you can see it in person, it has this tone that you see on your fridge or your oven. It looks exactly like, this is as close to an actual color matching I've ever seen. And it's this stainless, oops, there we go. Stainless steel. Look at that. And this is it over flat black. It's a bit different, but you still get that tone. You can see that tone that you get. But this is close to what my appliances are. I have LG. Uh, fridge and stove and TV uh, I guess I'm a fan of LG but that is my favorite color and this is it sprayed over white no, not anything special but I figured I'd show you the dramatic difference you know, over uh, a lighter base all right now uh, let me get these off the table at the end I'm gonna just show the spoon with the tags like this and a still shot so you guys can uh, see them all let me go grab the rest and like magic six more a pair all right, let's move on. High Shine Plus Aluminum. And yes, for sure, look at this. This again looks like my polished alloy. They're trying to steal my thunder here. Look at that. Now this is it over, uh, oh, the lighting is off a little bit here. There we go. This is uh, off of, you know, covering flat black. Obviously completely changes it. Uh, once again though, 
when you purchase this, you're getting two colors, man, just by over two bases. But look at how beautiful that is. That is a really nice, dark, pretty much black chrome. I've always liked that, even in the all-clad line, the high, the, uh, high shine. Uh, this is, I guess, the standard aluminum. Look at this. We finally have the regular. And uh, what I did was, check this out. This is over the 2K black. This is over Tamiya black. That's where I put the T so I knew. That's from the spray can. Gloss black from Tamiya. And no difference. So I guess you got to experiment what you can spray it over. But there's no difference there. But it has a nice semi-gloss kind of shine to it. It's pretty nice. This is it over... Uh, is this gray or white? No, this is over uh, just a spoon. And look at that. It completely... Uh, it needs to have a shiny base to get the shine to it. Look at that. That completely changes it because we'll show you here on the flat black. Just like the spoon there. So that is a very nice straight aluminum for sure. All right. Pale gold. Yep. Pale gold. All right. I showed it over both black over white. Not much of a difference. That's why I wanted to show you. It's a really opaque color when it goes on. This is it over just straight black, flat, pla flat black plastic. But very nice, very, very nice gold. You're not losing much, I guess, uh, if you can't get the, pe the uh, polished brass there. Uh, this pale gold, actually, is pretty close to it. Oops. All right. Here we go. Jet exhaust. Now this is meant to be used sparingly, not you know loaded up like I did here. But this is to see the color. There it is. Jet exhaust, almost a root beer color brown. This is it over the straight flat black plastic. Beautiful, another great color. Good for jet nozzles on uh, aircraft. Gunmetal. Now this is true bluing gunmetal. It's hard to see here. It's got that blue tint to it, uh, uh, as a gun barrel should have. Um, what I did was let me show it to you straight up here. Maybe you can see you can see the bluing there. See it? It's hard to get on the 2K spoon. I'm not sure why, but there it is there. So I sprayed it over gray. This is a gray primer, so you guys can see what it looks like over a lighter base but this is its true color right there it's just the bluing you know the gun barrel blue really nice color actually this will make a wonderful uh, frame on a kit for sure gun metal pale burnt metal I sprayed this a bunch of different ways so you guys can see but this is it straight up on the 2K black. This is a light coating on the 2K black. And I'll show you what I did here. I started, I misted it on the end so you can kind of see if you want to use it as a burnt effect. But I, uh, I do like it like this. It's an off-colored gold. It's really nice. And here it is over the black plastic, straight flat black. Put that back. All right, let me go ahead and get another batch. All right, another batch. The rest are on the table. I got a couple here off camera. So this is the last sweep of them. And then uh, after this, I'll have the still shots of all of them. All right, here we go. Duraluminum. Here we go. Oh, I'm coming up to D. There we go. All right, nice color. This is a nice grayish Aluminum, look at that. It looks great on the on the mat, doesn't it? On the flat black. That's a nice that's a really nice color. That's a great frame color. I didn't realize as I was painting it how much I like this. This is a, that's a really good one. Dull aluminum. This is pretty cool because uh you got all forms. There's the, the 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 shiny, the polished, the semi is over here, semi matte right here on the end. This is dull, and this really it came out flat. This really looks like you're holding a piece of aluminum. Look at that. And here it is over the 
flat one, which is kind of get the same results because this will dry this way no matter what you put it on. It's meant to, you know. All right, ear frame. I'll grab this little tag. Ear frame aluminum. All right. I tried to get this in all different forms, but uh, this is what it looks like. It's, it's a semi-polished look. It's a little cloudy, and I actually looked at some of my old oil clads, and that's how it looks. It, it, it does have that cloudish, almost polished look. This is a very light coat. I tried to get a little more of a shine to it. I think you could probably micro buff it off. Let me rub this on my shirt. Ugh. There we go. Check that out. So, yeah, you can kind of buff these out. I try to leave them straight up as they spray, you know. Let me get this buffed up. Here we go. Nice. Yeah, there it is. All right, we got the powder off it. So that is ear frame aluminum. Uh, really nice. This is a heavy coat, and these other two are a little lighter coats, so you can see what you're getting here. Almost a chrome. Uh, really nice. Really nice. This is it over a piece of flat black plastic, and you're just getting straight aluminum at that point, right? This is what you want over the gloss black. Look at that. Next up, engine manifold. Yeah, this is it on its full, as I say, medium layer. And I went to go light on this so I can show you guys with uh, like a single coat there. What you're going to get, different shade completely. This is it over the flat black. Closer to this one, I guess. Look at that very nice color I love these specialty colors the manifolds and whatnot great color this is dark aluminum we got plenty of aluminums here don't we oops lost the tag all right dark now this actually has a shine to it but it is a bit darker see it quite a bit different and here it is over the flat black plastic gold titanium this is a beauty check it out let's buff this one up like we did the other one it's only been about a half hour since I shot that video you guys saw me painting it that's how ready this stuff is to go there we go buffed out look at that huh it's almost gold this is over white uh, nothing to see here it, this is the color we're looking for this is as close to gold chrome as I've seen straight out of a jar besides uh, doing a candy this is it over flat black it's nothing so yeah gold titanium great color put this one on your list that's a must all right semi matte oh hold on something in my way here semi matte aluminum oh hold on semi matte aluminum there we go and you know what it is semi check that out You know, there's so many of these colors here, forms of aluminum, but boy, I'll tell you, they're all kind of a bit different. This is it over uh, flat black. Of course, you get that one there. So I guess, you know, if you think about it, you buy one jar of this, you're going to get this shade, and you put over flat black, you're going to get this, which is pretty much this, you know. And you can stretch your dollar that way. You don't have to buy them all like I did. I had to test them all. Yes, my own money went into this. I bought, it was like 400 bucks for all these paints. Oh, my gosh. All right. Uh, High-speed silver. Here we go. Um, it's not quite silver. It's hard to explain. It's, uh, it's almost like the aluminum, right? Let me see. Aluminum. Uh, not quite. A little bit of a shine to it. But... I don't know. This color kind of got lost in the lineup here, I think. All right, let's go. What do we have here? Oh, the magnesium. Oh, oh my guys, I'm dropping stuff here. Magnesium. This is off the camera here. Magnesium. We sprayed this on camera. There we go. Look at that. That's a great color. Almost like my uh, stainless steel that I like. This is it over the flat black. Oh, what a great color. I shot it over white just so you guys can see. Nothing special. 
get rid of that. There we go, magnesium. I like this. This is a good one. And the last one, you copper. Here we go. Over gloss black 2K. This is over the flat black plastic. Quite different. And then I shot it over white. And there you go. Two tone. I'll put it like that so you can see it. Check that out. That is a really nice copper, though, I gotta tell you. All right, let me clear this off and we'll wrap this up. And magically, they appear in front of us. Yes, there you go, guys. That is a test. That is every color. Uh, as far as the shiny labeled uh, metallic lacquers go, I guess that's all they're called, right? Metallic lacquers. This is the metal line, as I showed you in the beginning. There's others that don't quite fit into the line, so I just want to do everything in groups so you guys can see them all. Um, at the second this video ends, I'll have all the spoons laid out with those tags in front of them. You can pause the camera and see the colors a little a little closer, a little steady the camera there so you can pick out ones you guys really like. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for sticking with us. This was a long-form video, I know, um, but that's what it takes to do some of these videos if you're going to test every color, and I like to do it in real time. I don't like to do any edits. Um, when I do these type of videos, so you guys can see everything um, as I show each color. So anyway, there you go. Uh, thanks, guys. Please, please like the video and subscribe. I need more subscribers. We're trying to get up there into the uh, upper echelon of uh, channels there, guys. And uh, we're doing it slowly but surely. We're doing it. And uh, if you want to see more tests like this, just subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you know when I put up a video. I try to put up two a week. Um, and I'll always at least put one up a week. So we have tons of stuff to test, even more paint from this line and more from ammo with the new car lineup, which we'll be testing that very soon too. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. Got to pull the surprises coming next month. Uh, that's all we're going to say. <laughs> and uh, don't forget the polished alloy is back in stock at uh, Gundam Pros. That's my new alloy paint. And uh, my full uh, 2K line is also back in stock. And uh, including the black, which is what I use for the basis for all of these. Anyway, guys, have a great rest of your weekend. We will see you in the next video. If you want to see these painted over different bases, and uh, I guess Patreon is the place to go if you're a patron and you're watching this and you're curious, you want to see what certain colors look like over anything, red, grays. Uh, I'll do it for you on my Patreon channel. That's what it's for. It's for me to answer your questions. And sometimes I do it in video format. And we'll show you the colors you want to see combined in real time on, on your own personal video. So head over to that. I'll put a link to below for my uh, Patreon video, my Patreon channel. And I'll have a link, of course, to my uh, GSI Creos that I use for the video too. All the links will be below. Anyway, guys, I'll put a link where I got these also. Got them at Spray Gunner. Um, and I will put the link to them below also. Anyway, once again, have a great rest of your weekend. God bless you all. You guys are absolutely the best. Have a great day.